Tony Storm and Sky Blue for the women's title. I'm pretty sure this was the best Sky Blue match I've ever seen. Well, Tony Storm gave her a lot. Tony Storm was great in this match, and they had an awesome spot, which was Ruby took the ref. Tony gets the spray paint. She goes to spray Sky. Sky has her own can of spray paint. She sprays Tony. Tony sells it like crazy. She super kicks her. The can goes flying in the air. All these fans reach up and catch it. And then Sky knocks Ruby off the apron. She hits the uh, code blue. And uh, Ruby takes a ref. So she's got a pin, but there's no referee there. So she then goes after uh, Sky, or Ruby. Tony hits her with the Storm Zero. Sky kicks out of that. Place goes nuts. And then Tony puts her in the sharpshooter, submits her. And uh, uh, they called it a sharpshooter. But regardless, excellent match here uh, for the time that they were given. Yeah, seven-minute match. Um, yeah, they, it was much better than I expected. And, um, I'm, you know, after she does the kick out, she got put right in the submission right away. So it was like, I think that she could have done like a, but there's a timing issue. It's like, I always think that like when you get that big pop, and WWE used to do this all the time. They don't do it as much now. But you you kick out of someone's finisher, you get the big pop, and people are right behind you, and then the, the guy just does, or woman, does another finisher immediately and just cuts it off. And it's kind of like, well, the gain that you got for doing, for kicking out of that finish is all gone because you then lose seconds later. I mean, at least I always think that when you do that, and the crowd's way with someone doing that, in you know, normally, and in this case they were especially, that give them a couple of more moves and then like maybe do a miss or something like that before they lose instead of like you know you're not taking advantage of that big pop you're getting the pop and then boom it's over and it's like that pop was meaningless so um that's my thought as soon as as going right to that submission right after kicking out of the finishing move we had a jungle boy and hook promo and jungle boy said you know i see hook with that ftw title i feel a little naked Therefore, I promise to win a singles title this year. That means I'm accepting Sonata's open challenge for Forbidden Door. And he says, Hook, you know. Yeah, they had a, they did a, a video promo of Sonata. And um, Sonata challenged anyone in the locker room to a championship match. Well, he says, Hook, I just want you to know that you're my tag team partner and you're also my best friend. And it would mean a lot to me if you would have my back at Forbidden Door. Man, people want people are going to want him to turn so bad. Oh, it's already it's already happening. Oh yeah, they're waiting. Oh yeah. Then we had the Blackpool Combat Club against the Bucks and Hangman in the main event. This and match was fantastic. Uh, yeah, this they match had was an incredible fantastic. match. Incredible match. Just I mean, like nonstop, just freaking one great thing after another, and great crowd heat. And, and it was everything. You had the BCC doing all their brawling. You had the Bucks and Hangman doing. Like triple Hang dives to the outside Hang all at the Hang same time. Hangman was freaking doing everything in the world. I couldn't even like. It's like, it's like, geez, you know. It's like, how much are you gonna do? He did so much, and um, Wheeler Yuta was great. You know, I mean, everybody was great. Claudio was great. The Young Bucks were great. I mean, just you know, yeah. This was a. a just an excellent television match. Hit all the big moves there at the end, and then Claudio and Wheeler tried a rocket launcher. Matt got the knees up. Page hit Yuta with the press power bomb. Bucks hit the BT trigger. Hangman hit the buckshot, pinned him. Eleven minutes of TV time. It was awesome. And it then did, it, did, it did. It did. The one. The one thing is, it could have gone a couple more minutes. Although they were, they couldn't. They couldn't because they had other things to do on the show. But. Um, the um, you know that was the only thing is like they they you know they could have gone whatever but this was the first uh, BCC loss in a tag team match where John Moxley was in the match. So the uh, heels go after the baby faces afterwards. Eddie Kingston makes his return, hits the ring. The place is going crazy with Eddie Chance. He goes after Claudio, wipes him out. He turns around. He's face to face with his old friend John Moxley. So then Matt jumps Moxley from behind, but then Moxley pops right up. He goes face-to-face -face well, well, with... Well, 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 Kingston stopped Matt. Well, first, yeah, well, Matt wiped out Moxley, and yeah. then Moxley and then Kingston, gets back then, up. Then Kingston grabbed Matt. Yeah, because they're going back face-to-face -face again. Yeah. And then uh, Takeshita starts coming down to the ring, and my 
God, the booze for Takeshita when he's on his way down to the ring. There's so much heat for this guy. Oh, and by the way, do you know what Takeshita's new name is? What's the new name? El Hijo de Don Callis. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Friday night. Well, Takeshita hits the ring, the massive booze. He attacks the elite. Omega's music hits. He runs down to the ring. He's brawling with Takeshita. Elite attacks them. Triple Pescados to the outside. Kenny runs V-trigger on Takeshita, but then he turns around, and there's Will Ospreay, who kills him with a super kick. The place goes crazy for Ospreay. Hits a hidden blade, hits a stormbreaker, hits one more hidden blade as the show goes off the air. The last, I mean, the match itself was spectacular, but then the, the aftermath with everybody running in and all these surprises and the place is just going crazy for these guys. Yeah. And it, was, uh, it, was, it just felt it was like a super, super hot show. It was a, it was a like it was a super television show, and um, the other thing too is is like when they finally get to Omega and Takeshita, that is going to be such a hot program. I mean, because you know one of the reasons Callus gets all that reaction, you know, is because whatever it is right now the people really like Omega because they wouldn't be booing this guy and they wouldn't be booing Takeshita so much for turning on, you know, somebody else. I mean, it's it's like, I, I think that whatever it was, you know, and maybe, you know, whatever it was that people felt about Don Callis and Kenny Omega, the fact is, is when he turned on him, I mean, this was not a, I mean, we see people turn on each other all the time, constantly, every week there's somebody who turns on somebody. And they never get a reaction like this. This is really, um, you know, I don't know business. Like, we'll have to wait and see when they do it with the businesses. But, my God, as far as crowd reactions, unbelievable, unbelievable stuff. And, Granny, did you know that in the room right now is an Emmy Award winner? I know. I want to congratulate you, Wow. Thank you. The only one here who's ever achieved anything of value. Nice work, Shane. (laughs) Way to go, buddy. (laughs) Let's see this big gold Emmy. Wow. Look at that, everybody. Holy smokes. That qualifies. Prefer to hold it by the bottom to it as well. Let's get a picture for the front page. Yeah, you want it. (laughs) Granny, they say that Washington is a hot spot for UFOs. Is there any connection between aliens and Bigfoot? The animals are aliens. What? So you're telling me that my cat is from another planet? Yes. Due to Brian's birthday, Brian versus Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy looked a foot taller than Brian. He's not a foot taller than me. God. He's not the big poopy hair. He's, he's maybe. What is that noise? This was sure. with you and Vinny against uh, Chris Dreisack and Ideal Mexican. 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 Yeah. Yes. Brian pulled uh, Chris's panties down in the back. Yeah. His panties. <laughs> yeah, he saw his Dreisack. S A J W N G A W. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.